is up, my dudes? It's your boy, Hydrogen, but you can call me H, and after much request and the requirement of my science teacher, I'm doing to draw my life. Let's go. I was born around 3.7 billion years ago during the Big Bang. It was just me, my trillions of brothers, and my homo helium. He's cool. Not much happened for the next 3.7 billion years except for, you know, the creation of the universe. Fast forward to 1671 and things are starting to get interesting. There's this super rad guy named Robert Boyle or something really fire like that. You should listen to his mixtape. I hear it's fire. Anyways, he's accidentally discovering me, but shh, he doesn't know that yet. It's a secret. Fast forward 95 years to 1766 and my cover's been blown. Some guy named Henry Caveman Dish found out I was an element. I got a new fake mustache and bought a plane ticket to Germany. I was on the run. A fugitive. Wanted. I needed to- Uh, hey hydrogen? Who? I don't know this hydrogen guy. My name is Sean. Yeah, whatever. Um, you aren't making a lot of sense right now. Yeah, you're just being really weird. So, just stop. Fine. So I got discovered and they put me in this elite gang with some dope name I can't remember right now. They put homie helium in there too. Now that we have all that boring stuff out of the way, let's get to the really boring stuff. I am the smallest and lightest element in the universe. The other kids always picked on me about this, but I am also the most abundant element. You mess with one of us and you mess with all of us. Me and my bro humans have the atomic number of one, so I guess you could say... <laughs> when I'm at normal heat level and pressure, I am not poison, unsmellable, tasteless, not color, and highly combustible. <laughs> I'm also lighter than air, so I can float around in junk. Now let's talk about my insides. I have one proton, one electron, and an interchangeable amount of neutrons. Nerd! Now I've played an interesting role in history. <laughs> so remember how I can float around in junk? Well, the humans used this to their advantage to get the famous Zeppelin the Hindenburg off the ground. But remember how I'm highly combustible? <laughs> well, the thing caught on fire and crashed to the ground. I guess you could say the whole thing was lit. Again, during the Cold War, humans used me to cause mass destruction, but this time it was on purpose. A group of super duper uber schmooper smart dudes led by some random guy made hydrogen bombs. Then they blew up some islands in the Pacific Ocean. An awesome association of actually amazing alligators were able to acquire an awful amount of atoms to actualize ammonia to awesomely clean their awful aroma bathrooms. And this is an amazing alliteration. When I get pretty chill, around, I don't know, negative 434.5 degrees Fahrenheit, I turn into a liquid, and that liquid is used to make rockets go boom boom to outer space. Science. Now, if you haven't noticed, I'm kinda everywhere. Hydrogen is a key component in water, and every living thing needs water to survive. Not to mention, water is inside almost every single living thing. My name, Hydrogen, actually comes from the Greek word hydor, meaning water. You would already know this if you were Greek and really old. I'm in the air, I'm in you, I freaking cover 71% of the earth. You can run, but you can't hide. Me and my brohims will find you. Say goodbye to privacy and hello to me. Okay guys, I only got 10 seconds left, so fast, fast. The most common isotope of hydrogen is hydrogen 1, hydrogen 1 is known as protium, hydrogen 2 is known as deuterium, hydrogen 3 is known as tritium, hydrogen 3 is the only radioactive one, but it's only partially radioactive. Here's my baby picture, okay?